Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the HTML basic tutorial series and in this tutorial series we're just going to look at all the different uh, little bits and pieces that make up HTML web pages this isn't really going to involve any CSS JavaScript we'll literally do a little bit at the end but that's just to aid the HTML side so yeah this is just a quick HTML basic tutorial series and in the first tutorial we're going to look at how to actually set up a HTML web page we're going to use a text editor as you probably would, I doubt you'll do it in any other way. We've got loads of text editors, I'm going to be using a text editor called Text, it's very basic. There's another cool one called Carrot, Sublime Text. If you're actually creating a web page and you already know all the skills and you're just applying them, I would recommend some sort of ID like Optana Studio, that's probably my personal favourite at the moment. But we're just going to use Text, or at least that's what I'm going to be using. And first thing I'm going to do is actually save the page. And if I were to call it HTML, I'm just going to call it index.html. When you save a page as index.html on a web server, when you redirect to a certain folder, first it checks does it have a web page or a file called index.html. If it does, it will automatically load that one up, even if, even if you haven't specified a file. As long as it's within that folder that you've specified to redirect to or load, it will load index.html. If it's not named index.html, you'll have to type in the specific name. Let's just click save. The first thing that we'll add is the doc type. This doc type is the HTML5 doc type. Very simple, not like the old HTML 4.01 transitional or any of the other ones or some of the XHTML ones there. Next thing we'll just add. A HTML tag. We'll close off the HTML tag. You want to close off every tag. It's very similar. There's the odd tag that you won't close off like this, but generally you you'll have your opening tag, which will be called HTML body or whatever. Then you close it with a forward slash and then the name of the tag. Then inside we're gonna put a head tag. Again, we are gonna close it. I'm gonna put a body tag. Load the body tag and let's just go over what these two tags do. The head tag uh, has information about like the title of the website, some meta information. You can link some style sheets into it, so CSS files, some JavaScript files, it's stuff like that. It's not usually the meat of the website. The meat of the website will go into the body. We're just gonna simply put hello world and that's it. That's all our web page is gonna be for now. At least for this tutorial, what we're going to do, yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to go to the HTML folder, double click index.html, and it's loaded up. There we go. There's a little cool thing you can do in Chrome, you can do it in other browsers, it works best in Chrome. Is if you right click, go into Inspect Element, this is basically the developer console, and you can just see the actual formation of the website. And a great debugging technique. Is they can because HTML is client side, you can start editing the website in the browser. So if you just put hello Bob, comma, click enter, and then it says hello Bob, comma. This is great for big websites if you just want to quickly s switch between different sorts of tags or maybe styling. And instead of going back to your ID or your text editor, saving it, maybe even pushing it to some sort of server, you can just do it like this. This obviously only applies for client side languages, that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP wouldn't count because that is server side, but again, HTML is client side, so this is great for that. This is the first tutorial done. We've looked at how to set up a HTML web page. In the next tutorial, we're gonna look at the div tag. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.